From the Liturgy of the Hours of the Roman Rite From the Office of Readings From the Life of St. Ignatius from His Own Words by Louis Gonzalez Ignatius was passionately fond of reading worldly books of fiction and tales of knight errantry. When he felt he was getting better, he asked for some of these books to pass the time. But no book of that sort could be found in the house. Instead, they gave him a life of Christ and a collection of the lives of saints written in Spanish. By constantly reading these books, he began to be attracted to what he had found narrated there. Sometimes, in the midst of his reading, he would reflect on what he had read. Yet, at other times, he would dwell on many of the things which he had been accustomed to dwell on previously. But at this point, our Lord came to his assistance, ensuring that these thoughts were followed by others which arose from his current reading. While reading the life of Christ our Lord, or the lives of the saints, he would reflect and reason with himself. What if I were to do what St. Francis or St. Dominic did? In this way, he let his mind dwell on many thoughts. They lasted a while until other things took their place. Then those vain and worldly images would come into his mind and remain a long time. The sequence of thoughts persisted with him for a long time. But there was a difference. When Ignatius reflected on worldly thoughts, he felt intense pleasure, but when he gave them up out of weariness, he felt dry and depressed. Yet, when he thought of living the rigorous sort of life he knew the saints had lived, he not only experienced pleasure when he actually thought about it, but even after he dismissed these thoughts, he still experienced great joy. Yet, he did not pay attention to this, nor did he appreciate it until one day, in a moment of insight, he began to marvel at the difference. Then he understood his experience. Thoughts of one kind left him sad, the others full of joy. And this was the first time he applied a process of reasoning to his religious experience. Later on, when he began to formulate his spiritual exercises, he used this experience as an illustration to explain the doctrines he taught his disciples on the discernment of spirits. O oh God, who raised up St. Ignatius of Loyola in your church to further the greater glory of your name, grant that by his help we may imitate him in fighting the good fight on earth and merit to receive with him a crown in heaven through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen.